Now to an unusual rom-com that is getting a lot of love from critics. It stars a comedian who grew up in Pakistan, and it tells the true story of his courtship and marriage to an American woman. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. I know you guys said that you don't need me to stay, but I think I'm just going to wait anyway. You guys broke up. I'm, I'm not sure why you're here. The Big Sick is a rom-com, a true story following a Pakistani immigrant and struggling stand-up whose kinda ex-cross-cultural girlfriend is in a coma. It's based on real stuff that happened to me and my wife, Emily. Kamel Nanjiani stars and wrote the script with his sickly ex-girlfriend, now healthy wife. Why did the real Emily not appear in the film? Uh, she's not an actress. I have to tell you something, babe. I've been dating this girl. She's white. A white girl? Hey, you can't look like you and me, a white girl. It's OK. We hate terrorists. This is brought to you by producers Judd Apatow and Barry Mendel, who previously produced Bridesmaids and Trainwreck. I met Kumail when I was doing Pete Holmes' podcasts. Uh -huh. And uh, afterwards, he said, I have some movie ideas. I had a list of pitches that were all dreadful. They were so bad, I don't even remember what they were. My pitches were like, it's a ghost of a witch. And uh, that was a real one. And then he said, oh, and there's a story that actually happened to us. He was like, all right. That's the movie we're going to make. Nanjiani is probably best known for Silicon Valley. But you're not a strong negotiator. I'm a great negotiator, Dinesh. You're a terrible negotiator. I think Silicon Valley was just starting out, and so he wasn't, he wasn't uh, even at the level that he is now. I think we put it in the genre, what if we made a good movie? Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, what was fascinating was falling in love with somebody, having them get sick, and winding up in a hospital hanging out with their parents. Are you judging Pakistan's next top model? You know how we have arranged marriage in my culture? In real life, Kamal had not told his fairly traditional parents that he had a white girlfriend. They met when she heckled him at a stand-up show in Chicago. You really shouldn't heckle comedians. It's so rude. I didn't heckle you. I just woohooed you. As we got to know the story better and we, and we began to understand right. how much of the story was about uh, you know, arranged marriage and, and the complications that, that he faced as a person trying to assimilate to America. I'm guessing it's a young, single Pakistani woman. This is Zubeda. For your files, your X-Files. That's your favorite show, huh? <laughs> the truth is out there. <laughs> My parents are arranged marriage and they're very happy and I have a lot of cousins who arrange marriage and they all seem to be very happy. But so. you don't obviously regret. No, <laughs> no, <not> no. <laughs> no. First of all, we wouldn't have gotten a movie out of it. <laughs> this yeah. is a movie about a guy who listens to his parents, and there's really no conflict at all. Yeah. He grew up in Pakistan, had never even shaken a woman's hand when he showed up at Grinnell College, Iowa. This summer, he gave the commencement address. The first time my parents met my wife, she was my wife. And you know what they did? They threw a big Pakistani wedding. So here's another concrete piece of advice I can give you. Have sex with an immigrant. We're going through a tough time right now. You can't just be a funny guy. You've got to be the Muslim Pakistani comic to a degree, right? Well, I really felt that pressure when I first started doing it because I literally started uh, at the end of 2001. So whenever I would get on stage, I really, really had to address it. Um, but what I learned was I would just do a quick little line, and then I would just sort of do my jokes, which were pretty observational, sort of one linery thing. About five years in, I was like, this is a big part of my life that I'm not talking about. So then I made the decision that I would start talking about it, but in a way that was true to my experience of it. Pakistan is a third world country. It's a developing nation, whatever. <laughs> third world country. <laughs> that was unpronounceable, a joke about his name 10 years ago. This, beta male from 2013. That one of the levels in the new Call of Duty is called Karachi. Yep, the city I grew up in. They're basically like, your hometown is now a battlefield. Now, so, uh, the big sick. 9-11. No, I mean, I've always wanted to have a conversation with, about it, with people. You've never talked to people about 9-11? His movie mother-in-law, Holly Hunter. Father-in-law, Ray Romano. I hated Everyone Loves Raymond. Really? I love that it. show. Really? Yeah. The plaid shirt, the staircase in the background, that show just... <laughs> you hate staircases? For me, I was like, oh, Ray Romano's in it. 
And then I loved him. Isn't he great? I don't really get that. I, know. I thought I could just start saying something and something smart would come out. When Jed suggested him, I was like, that's a stroke of genius. We met at Meltdown Comics in LA. There's a theater in back. Yeah. Right here for six years. I did a show here every Wednesday for, uh, for six years. And taped his yeah, Comedy yeah, Central yeah, show, yeah, The yeah, Meltdown yeah, with okay. Jonah and yeah, Kumail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this seat? Okay. The Big Sick Limited released this Friday, nationwide mid-July. It's been focus grouped. They actually liked this movie more than they even liked Bridesmaids and Trainwreck. It's my tip for culty hit of the summer. If you didn't like it, but you had to pretend you liked it right now, yeah. how would you talk to me about it? It's really good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I would buy it. I'd buy your life. <laughs> As I mentioned, the real-life Emily co-wrote the script, but Zoe Kazan plays her on screen. I think I'm going to go home. Wait, wait. We haven't even had sex again yet. Yeah, I'm just not that kind of girl. I only have sex once on the first date. Did you kind of fancy her a little bit as well? Zoe Kazan? Yeah. Oh, she's great. No comment on your question. I did ask Emily to not be on set during the scenes where... Uh, me and Zoe had to make out. I asked yeah. Emily to not be there. Because you wanted to just enjoy it, right? Well, I, uh, no comment. <laughs> no, I just felt, I just felt like you, I, I, why am I turning red? Which is very hard. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline hey, hey, in Los Angeles. Hey, hey, hey.